Hey, welcome to this video. And if you arrived here, you're probably looking for more information on Blue Sky Amazon. Uh, so I'll go over the sales page, uh, how the how it works, and then I'll give you my two cents whether I think it's a good investment. Um, so the first thing you need to understand, it's an Amazon FBA course. And if you don't know that, um, Amazon FBA, it falls under the umbrella of e-commerce. Uh, so under e-commerce, there's drop shipping, there's uh, Shopify, and there's Amazon FBA. And what's different about Amazon FBA is Amazon will handle all the storing, packaging, and shipping for you and the fulfillment. Uh, so it's just it's just a simpler business model. So you don't have to worry about all that other stuff. You can just focus on the marketing and uh, you know picking products and stuff like that. So and so I'm just going to quickly over the sales page. Um, so she talks about, um, you can start your own business in as little as 30 minutes a day. That's, that's kind of an extraordinary claim. Um, and then, and there's four parts to her webinar. It's, um, finding potential products, how to potentially sell your Amazon account for lots of money. She sold an Amazon account for seven figures, apparently. Uh, how to find suppliers and source your products cheaply. And and just what sort of income you can potentially make with this business. Now, uh, now there's actually um, her course. It's actually two courses in one. There's the Product University course, and there's the Amazon Navigator. Um, total is about 35 hours of video training, and um, and it's around 3,500 dollars. So, which is actually it sounds very expensive, but that's actually not. It's not that expensive if you look at all the other um, courses similar to this. Um, but So it does go very into depth and the training is quite good. Um, so it's a totally legitimate program. Um, now with the Product University, I'll just quickly go through the models, what you can expect to learn. Um, first, first module should be laying the foundation. So, you know, mindset stuff. Um, you know, which might seem trivial, but it's actually important because you could have all, all the tactics in the world, but if you don't have the right mindset, you're not going to push through all the obstacles. You're not going to stay in the game. So, and, and then she goes into annual plan and projection uh, for the coming year, uh, pros and cons of other business platforms, etc. Module two, she'll go into product selection. Um, so her course focuses on products that sell for a long time, um, potentially years. And uh, module three is she goes into sales funnels, uh, which I like because a lot of courses like this, they don't talk about sales funnels. But if you know anything about internet marketing, uh, having a good sales funnel is sort of the cornerstone of any online business. And that's just, you know, building uh, uh, building your funnel pages using a software like ClickFunnels, uh, uh, creating your lead magnet to get people to put their email address in, and then and then connecting your email autoresponder, uh, your email sequence to follow up with people. Because most people aren't just going to buy from you right away, right? They need some follow up. Um, module four goes into hiring uh, VAs, virtual assistants. Because uh, you'll need to outsource a lot of the repetitive tasks as you, as you scale. And she'll go over how and where to hire them. Module five goes into the fundamentals of Amazon FBA. So setting up your account, setting up your business license, some pros and cons of doing business on Amazon. Module six goes into unique product source uh, ideas. So um, j just so you can come up with unique product ideas. So like visiting marketplaces while on vacation, uh, browsing your local classifieds, uh, just so you're not, you're kind of, Kind of differentiating yourself, not just selling, you know, pens or hats like everyone else. So finding unique products to sell, um, and then Amazon Navigator, the second course, um, module one again, more mindset and goal setting stuff, which is important. Module two, um, branding. You know, and a lot of the uh, a lot of course creators don't talk about branding, but it's actually super important. It's probably one of the most important things because. And I actually learned this from one of my mentors. Um, when it comes to online business, you don't want to look like um, just another blank, as he put it. You know, just another Amazon seller, just another affiliate marketer, just another MLM person, right? You want to kind of differentiate yourself in the marketplace because the more unique you look, the more uh, the, the more sales you're going to look. 
well, the more sales you're going to get because otherwise it just look like everyone else trying to push their products right so branding that's super important um find third module is finding products that sell for the long term like i kind of went over before and finding suppliers that are out of the public eye so you're kind of find these little pockets of suppliers that that are untouched so it's it's gonna kind of lower your competition module four is uh product listing so title construction product description uh writing copy basically copywriting and some keyword research and in this module so she'll teach you how to appeal to millennials because millennials are are one of the, the kind of maybe the biggest group of online shoppers right and they're growing so how to appeal to millennials module five is uh shipping deals with shipping samples and labeling um, so how to sidestep some of the biggest challenges with shipping that you can expect because there will be challenges especially with what's going on now with the uh, quarantine and everything uh, module six promoting your product so uh, she goes over five ways you can push your product to the market module seven is key performance metrics now this stuff is not sexy uh, but it's basically your numbers analyzing your numbers your data so you know for example the profit margins of each product again not sexy but it's essential because uh, it'll it'll tell you um, where to sort of cut your losses and where you should be doubling down where to focus your attention so module six is scaling uh beyond amazon and also hiring vas uh, virtual assistants which is what you'll need to do if you want to scale so yeah the training is uh overall the training is quite good from what i've read uh lots of testimonials um but again it's 3500 around 3500 close to it so again that's maybe out of reach for most people. So if you only have $5,000 in your bank account, this is probably not for you. But if you have the money, uh, yeah, I think it's a good course. Um, now, even if you have the money, the question you need to be asking yourself, is Amazon FBA the right business for you? Because um, the thing uh, the thing with Amazon FBA or really e-commerce in general, it's actually one of the most difficult businesses you can start online. Um, and I'll just go over and a few of the potential cons so first of all there's a ton of moving parts um, you're you're dealing with a lot of physical products physical items a lot of third parties you know marketing branding researching the products setting up your store you know building a funnel there's just so much and uh, it can be kind of overwhelming so this idea of you know working 30 minutes a day uh, i don't know if that's realistic um um, it's it's not a passive business at all. It's very hands-on. There's a lot a lot of work um, I'm not saying you shouldn't put it into work. I mean any business is going to require a lot of work, but this is sort of next level um, Second reason it's uh, It's not cheap. Uh, there's a lot of costs that go into starting a business like this. So first you have to buy the products um, you have to deal with Amazon fees, right, for storage, packaging, and delivery, because they're not going to do all that for free. You have to pay Amazon to handle all that. So uh, there's three separate fees for all that. Um, pay for marketing, right? So you'd have to get eyeballs onto your onto your products. That's that's marketing, and you're probably going to have to run paid ads, whether that's Amazon ads, Facebook ads, Google ads, Bing. You're going to probably have to pay for some ads, right? Uh, the tools like the funnel builder, the autoresponder, all the all these things add up, plus the cost of the trading, right? So if you, again, if you only have five thousand in your bank account, this business is not for you. Uh, and lastly, the profit margins are extremely slim uh, because the costs are so high. Uh, profit margins are around ten to fifteen percent. So people saying they're making $100,000 a year, it's probably more like $10,000 a year, which is really not not that good, right? <laughs> I mean, it's better than nothing, but 10,000, you can't really live on that. Um, so, and and because and cause you can only sell for so much, right? The, the reason the profit margins are so slim, two reasons, you can only sell for so much. So if you buy um, a four dollar calculator you, you can't sell it for a hundred dollars you're only gonna be able to sell it for you know five to six dollars maybe 
because online buyers, they're very savvy. They'll, they'll shop around and find the lowest prices. If you price it too high, they're not going to buy from you. And secondly, all the costs that I that I covered earlier, I go into this uh, this kind of business. Um, so yeah, yeah. If you're okay with all the costs, you have lots of money to begin with, and you're willing to work super hard for, you know, one, two to three years, you know, to get your business profitable, because that's what it's going to take. This is a long-term business. It's not it's not a short term. You're not going to see microwave results. So. So yeah, if you're willing to do all that, then yeah, it's a great course, uh, it's a great business model. Uh, but understand, it's it's like pushing a boulder up a hill, right? It's it's not it's it's not for everyone. That's what I'll, that's all I'll say. Now look, maybe you're here. You're not necessarily sold on uh, Amazon FBA or this course in general. You just want a way to make money online. Well, I was you a little over a year ago. I tried all sorts of different business models, you know, everything from freelancing to blogging to even domain flipping, just goofy, just goofy, silly business models that don't work. Uh, I never got into e-commerce, fortunately, because I did enough research and I realized, nah, it's 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 too difficult, right? Now, um, again, I, I get every business is gonna require hard work. I wanna make that clear. Um, but again, e-commerce is just kind of the next level. It's it's insanely difficult and very few people uh, can actually achieve success with it. And it takes a long time uh, to start being, being profitable. Uh, so what business models do I suggest? Well, the only business model I would suggest for beginners, like people looking to make their first sales online, their first profits online, is something called affiliate marketing. Uh, so similar to this, you're selling products, except it's digital products, other people's digital products online. And it can be in any niche. Maybe you're into weight loss, uh, dog trading, gardening, uh, personal finance, business opportunities, um, you know, parenting, uh, building a beehive, just absolutely any niche. Uh, anything you're passionate about or you have some knowledge in, you, you should go into that niche. Now, why do I recommend affiliate marketing? Well, unlike uh, e-commerce, it's extremely simple. Uh, if you have the right information, if you don't have the right training, it can be very complicated and confusing because uh, there just aren't all these moving parts. Um, it's basically just, you can just basically focus 100% on the marketing. You don't have to worry about all these other things. It's very automated. Um, don't get me wrong, it does take a while to get set up, but once you do, it's like 80% automated. So whether you want to go hiking for the day, fishing, spend time with your family, you can do that and still be generating commissions on autopilot. The profit margins are higher than any other business I know of, 50 to 80%, which is actually really, really good. Um, and lastly... And, and the startup costs are, are very low, so you don't need much money to get started. And lastly, it's the one business model I found that allows you to be truly be a solopreneur. That means you can be, just be one guy or woman on a laptop. You don't need to outsource stuff. You don't need to hire virtual assistants. Uh, you can just it, you can just be 100% on your own and make really good money. I'm talking... You know, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty, potentially thirty thousand and beyond per month profits, right? As one person, and so it's very special business model. Now, if what I'm saying right now resonates with you, what I suggest is clicking the link below. You'll get access to a four-day training series by my mentor, and he's just going to lay out uh, the entire blueprint for you: how to do affiliate marketing the right way. Uh, he'll go into all the different business model why why affiliate marketing is the best. Uh, he'll he'll talk about you know the guru style of affiliate marketing, what most people teach, why that doesn't work, and the proper way to do it. So and uh, and yeah, you're just gonna get the entire blueprint for free, and you can just basically take it and run with it, and you can sell whatever you want online. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, I hope you got some value out of this video. Um, I hope to see you on the other side, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.